Greetings, knights. Today we're going to take a look at Knighthood's two newest heroes, Docio and Lucius. Let's get straight to business. Docio is a legendary strong versus undead mage of the Dark Alignment that was clearly meant to be an alchemist. We can no doubt thank politics and deadlines for this poor soul's identity crisis, but aesthetically curious design aside, he brings some great flavor and welcome utility that helps to fill in some balance gaps. Arcane Mist hits a single enemy, dispels them, grants one turn of focus, and also fills up 50% of your rage. A fairly tall order for a base power. This means Docio will basically be the mage equivalent of Brutus or Krita, a mechanical goal the devs have mentioned they would like every class to have baked into their kits in time. Thanks to the brief focus tick, he will also trigger the Rebel Gauntlet's rage condition, nearly filling your rage entirely in as few as four actions with a properly leveled mage speed tree. However, I have a sneaking suspicion that he just might interact with the Rebel Gauntlet a little better than the in-game descriptions might lead you to believe. If this is true, add a buff weapon and a second buff mage to your setup and you'll be raging so much you might be convinced you multiclassed into Barbarian at some point. Don't quote me on that, unless I'm right. Then, then you can quote me on that. Call of Neortian deals non-distributing damage and has a chance to stun everything that it hits. This alone makes it noteworthy for some later game shenanigans, but the real treasure here is that Docio's max star bonus attaches weakened to his rage power as well. This is huge for mage players aiming to play at the highest difficulty levels. Unfortunately, this much needed boon is locked behind a fairly hefty paywall. Maxing out a brand new legendary hero does not come cheap, so here's to hoping they hurry up and add him to the dust chests as soon as possible. Lucius is a unique strong versus cult rogue of the maniacal alignment, and he is the answer to most roguish prayers. This hero alone boosts the viability and ease of playing this class exponentially from start to finish. If you're a rogue player, you do not want to miss this tentacle-armed wonder. Ignis Purge is a base power that not only heals your knight, but slaps a single turn of protect on them as well. Factor in that this power can be charged in as quickly as three actions with a gauntlet that boosts rogue speed, and all of a sudden, rogues have a stream of steady healing with extra utility baked in that they have never had access to. If you're fortunate enough to unlock his max star bonus, you'll be treated to three turns of focus as well. Nothing to scoff at by any means. From the Abyss deals distributed damage, I know, a missed opportunity we tried, I swear, but hold your tomatoes, because he also applies Weaken, the holy grail of late game survivability. And it's not locked behind a max star bonus like it is with Docio. Between his base and rage powers, he is ready to keep our long neglected rogue friends alive against some of the most terrible creatures in the game almost single handedly, which is really fortunate since he only has one hand. These two heroes not only do a great job countering their designated event, but are signs the developers have been paying some degree of attention to feedback and are keeping class disparity in mind as they create new tools for our arsenals. So cheers to you fellow mages who have suffered with me in the trenches, and cheers to my rogue friends who have endured more than anyone. I always knew our reinforcements would involve tentacle monsters. I wouldn't have it any other way.